and welcome to the first ever the Essex Allotment Farm Vlog. Now, um, ironically, I'm on the allotment, I'm sheltering from the wind and rain while I do some of the audio and talking over, but today I've just spent my third solid day on the farm with a little bit of help, and I'm gonna take this opportunity to uh, shoot a little video and set the story and set the scene on what I'm trying to achieve over on my new site, where I'll be setting up a CSA scheme and uh, a veg box scheme for the local people of Chelmsford um, and everything that comes with it. So let me jump straight in, show you a few pictures. There's not much to look at at the moment, a little bit of video, and then let me talk you through what the plans are for the coming year. So those of you who follow me on Instagram will be aware that I have been trialing a veg box scheme at another site um, in the Chelmsford area. Now that veg box scheme has gone particularly well so far this season and I'm really enjoying it. So I've been looking for some bigger ground or a bigger area, bigger space uh, of private land to rent um, to extend that veg box scheme next season and maybe help, you know, maybe even create some other things to go alongside it. The fantastic news is, and you could probably already guess what that is as soon as you're watching this video, I have found said land. Um, I've been given a fantastic opportunity at a local farm uh, in the surrounding area of Essex uh, where I'm leasing some land and starting my own brand new market garden. Yeah, a really, really great opportunity for me, something that I'm really looking forward to do. Um, and as like all these things, the best way to document your progress and have stuff to look back at over the coming seasons and the coming years is to vlog about it on YouTube. So this is it. This is the beginning of that story or that journey. And I hope you'll come along for the ride, um, offer me that support, um, give me advice when I need it and, you know, help pick me up when I'm down because no doubt I'll come across some uh, tough times in the next you know few seasons or whatever but yeah um, I'm really looking forward to documenting it for you guys I'm really looking forward to sharing it with everybody um, let's like I said jump and go and have a look at the farm itself and I'll talk a little bit more in detail about what I plan to do with the space uh, over the coming season I've mentioned it a couple of times. Uh, one of my plans for this massive, great big piece of area that I'm gonna turn into a market garden is to create a CSA scheme. Um, I'm not gonna go into what a CSA scheme is. It stands for Community Supported Agriculture. Um, just whack it in Google and you'll find loads of information about it. Uh, effectively, what it is, is a community garden where you sell veg boxes from, um, but yes, there's a lot of interaction and a lot of um, participation from your uh, customers if that's the right word or your members of the vegbot scheme but yeah like i said stick it in google and have a good luck look uh, it's a really interesting concept and really popular in the united states so i've been watching a couple of youtubers that have done similar how or i've got similar setups honey tree farm and josh satin um, again check them out if you're interested to see what it is uh, i'm trying to achieve a little bit in more detail but like all market gardens or allotments or back gardens, the very foundation of what I'm trying to achieve will depend on me growing super quality, organic, fresh fruit and vegetables to sell to customers. That is the crux of it still. That is uh, the bread and butter. And you know, at the beginning of this journey where I am now, I've just got a massive, great big area of, as you've seen in the pictures, um, a massive area of plowed land um, where I'm starting to map out a very productive style market garden. I'm going to use a system that seems to be really popular in America, which is uh, you'll have seen again from the pictures the, the, the bed setup. So it's a block system, so I'll have a block of 10 beds 
uh, that go across uh, the land. They'll be 75 centimetres wide and 15 metres long with a 40 centimetre path uh, in between each bed. So really long, thin beds. The idea behind that from a basic setup point of view is that you can reach the crops from both sides or both paths either side of the bed and you can also straddle the bed. Also, um, in America, there's a lot of standardised market garden tools that are sort of making their way over to this country and they are 30 inch tools. So you can buy 30 inch rakes, 30 inch broad forks um, and that's 76 centimetres. So effectively, um, they're tools designed specifically for this type of bed. The other benefit from it is all the coverings, netting, the tarpaulin that you've seen I put down already. Um, all that stuff is a standardised size because all your beds are exactly the same. So what you use on one bed, you can transfer and use on the other bed. Um, you could, you know, I've got 10 bits of tarpaulin down at the moment, for example, but when I plant them first three beds uh, with overwinter onions and overwinter garlic, later on in the season, I'll have three spare uh, tarpaulin, uh, plastic tarpaulin sheets that would fit every single bed that I'm looking to create on the whole um, on the whole site. And so yeah, you make those blocks of 10 beds and uh, effectively what I'm making at the moment is block A. Um, I'll fence around the edge uh, outside of block A. When that's all planted out, I'll look at making plot B, which will be an absolute carbon copy of block A with 10 beds and a little bit of space at the top end and it will sit parallel with all the beds that I've got in and, and I'm making so far. So again, if I have to net brassicas, if I have to fleece potatoes, if I have to do any of that stuff, um, net for birds, all of that, they're standardized netting sizes and I can use those big long strips of netting that fit on every single bed. So that's the basic idea and you can kind of see the concept I'm going for from a few early pictures and the little bit of work that I've done in the first weekend. Uh, but it seems like a really productive way of gardening for profit, um, which is what I'm trying to do here. So it's a little bit different to what you've seen from my allotment and other things. Um, it's all about productivity. It's all about keeping costs down and you know, uh, energy and time consuming. And like say, uh, if I've only got to make 10 uh, sheets of tarpaulin, um, once that's all planted out, I can use that, reuse those because they'll be standard size for every other bit. But we shall see if it works, that's the idea. We shall see if that um, idea that I've got in my head that I've kind of pinched from a few people over in America, and there are people like Jack's Patch doing it on in uh, the UK as well. Hopefully I'll run with that idea and sort of uh, make it my own a little bit as and when I feel I need to. So yeah, that's a basic premise of the layout and how I'm working at the moment. Obviously, I'll go into this in more detail as and when I do uh, different videos. Once the first block of beds is up and running, I'll take you for a tour around it and I'll show you the measurements and the ways of working in a little bit more detail. But I'm just trying to set the scene for you guys, try and get you a little bit excited about what it is. I'm certainly excited. I hope some of that's being portrayed across on the screen. I'm absolutely buzzing and certainly, again, with sounding like a broken record, if you follow my Instagram account, you'll know how excited I was to announce this a couple of weeks ago that this was happening. So as I said, this is just a quick introductory video. There's not much going on at the farm at the moment. I'm certainly miles away from planting. I'm bringing in wood chips, compost, uh, materials for fencing, um, soil amendments to a certain uh, certain extent, which again, I'll talk about in more detail uh, in later videos. But I just wanted to, like I did on Instagram, jump on here, put out the first video for the Essex Allotment Farm, which is gonna be something slightly different. Um, hopefully I'll get you guys involved and uh, certainly share the story as I go along uh, throughout the season. So thanks very much for watching this very very short video if you've got any questions or want any further detail about anything at this stage drop it in the comments below like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the farm videos that are coming up in the future and uh, yeah wish me luck thanks for watching